back, and uh, please forgive my voice today. I'm fighting off a cold here, but wanted to get a quick video up on Town Skull. Uh, it's not going to be a, a terribly long video, but I'm going to go over some basic things about the towns uh, regarding uh, angulation of the central ray and uh, just an overview of positioning and image critique. So let's look at the criteria here. We need the OML perpendicular to the image receptor, if you can. Uh, interpupillary line parallel. We also need the mid-sagittal plane perpendicular. Uh, you're probably going to want a 10 by 12 uh, lengthwise cassette uh, with this extreme tube angle. It can elongate the skull quite a bit. Uh, 40 inch SID. And uh, for the skull, you need a 30 degree caudal uh, angle on the central ray entering two and a half inches above the glabella. Um, and it should be a little bit more of an angle when you are doing like a mandible, uh, just to free the, um, the body and the, the condyles of the mandible from the uh, skull. We don't want those superimposed. If you're angling, uh, if you have the IOML perpendicular, you can angle 37 degrees caudal. You should have the dorsum cella projected right through the middle of the foramen magnum. This is an ideal position here. Uh, just look at the shape of the skull. You know, this just goes to show that, you know, even though this is a, a good position, the the shape is not really symmetrical. Um, you know, and everybody's got a little bit different shape uh, of skull. Um, let's see. So dorsum cell is good. Uh, Pretrus ridges should be symmetrical, and they're going to make kind of a V shape on this view. And here's another skull. Um, this one's pretty good as well. Dorsum cell is right in the middle of the frame and magnum. I don't see any rotation right to left. Petrus ridges should just be symmetrical. All right, so this one shows good angulation uh, of the central ray. We have a 30 degree angle here. Now, just looking from the side, it doesn't look like 30 degrees. It looks like more like 45, but remember, it's 30 degrees from the OML. So if you follow my cursor here, uh, OML goes this way, it's about 30 degrees from that. And what you're, what you're seeing is central ray entering the, um, you know, the frontal bone. It's just kind of going right through the dorsum cella there, which is going to project it right through the foramen magnum right here and down onto the image receptor. And this is what it looks like in the AP view. So that's good angulation. This is just the, uh, the same picture blown up here. I wanted to show you without my green green uh, highlights there, what, it's, what it actually looks like. It's kind of a subtle, subtle difference there in density, but you can see it projected right through here. All right, so over angulation or under angulation. So here's our reference uh, image of good angulation. Uh, if I'm under, uh, under angulated here, uh, too little angle, um, let's say this is maybe a 20, 20 to 25 degree angle, not quite as steep as the 30, which would come in probably up here. Uh, but it's going to throw the anterior uh, anatomy, which is the dorsum cella, uh, above the frame and magnum. Uh, and this is what it would look like on the AP radiograph. Uh, dorsum cella would be superior to the frame and magnum. So to angle more, uh, or to bring this down, you would angle more, project what's anterior uh, down more. And here's, here's a good radiograph of what it looks like. There's a good one. Uh, Here's my under angulation, and it would be projected up here. I mean, you're not seeing it down here. You know that it's it's extending above the frame and magnum right there. Uh, over angulation. This is, looks more like a almost like an attempted SMB. It's less common to uh, see over angulation. You might notice this kind of representation on on an attempted SMB, um, but either way, you should know how to correct it. If the dorsum cella is below the frame and magnum, you are definitely overangulated. Again, you probably got the IOML, you know, pretty close to to uh, parallel to the film at this point. But uh, nonetheless, you should be able to know how to correct. So just to review, good angulation. Uh, you know, you get that dorsum cella right in the middle. That's 30 degrees to the uh, OML. You could also say it's 37 degrees to the IOML, if you like to make the IOML perpendicular. 
or if you've got no other choice, if you're doing a trauma patient, that you might be similar to that. Uh, under angulation is going to project it above the foramen magnum and over. I couldn't find a picture of it, but over is going to depict the dorsum cella below the foramen magnum. Again, sorry about my voice. I'm trying to speak clearly here, but, uh, you know, uh, please feel free to subscribe and um, come see me again. Thanks for watching.